Jack here, Bee Builder here. I wanted to do a video on essential oils used in beekeeping. Um, there's a lot of different oils you can use and they all do things a little bit differently. And I wanted to go over some of those. I know when I was starting out, I've heard people using essential oils with their beekeeping, but I didn't really know which ones to use or how to use them. So I wanna do a quick video on it. So come along and we'll talk about it. So there's several different oils that are used in beekeeping and they all have different uses. Um, some of them are lemongrass oil, wintergreen oil, spearmint oil, um, tea tree oil, lavender oil, even mineral oil. Um, another big one is thyme oil. Before I go any further with these oils, I wanted to clarify that oils are used a lot in beekeeping. They're commonly used. However, a lot of the methods used to, to apply them aren't necessarily approved for use. So, um, although a lot of beekeepers do use them, um, they're not necessarily proven. Um, and, and that's kind of how it is, always is with essential oils. You know, it, it, there's practical use and people believe they use it, but there's no actual tests done that, that prove it. However, some of these oils are used in commercial, uh, commercial treatments for mites. And so it would indicate that it is, um, they are beneficial. And I believe they're beneficial. I use them in my own hives. But I wanted to put that out there just so everyone's clear that the, this is kind of, um, it, it's not, you know, proven to work 100%. And I actually don't believe it does work 100%, but it can work as a deterrent for mice. It can work to help, help make your, keep your hive healthy. It's not something that's going to fix a problem, but it might help to prevent problems. And that's kind of how I use it in my hives. When you're looking into getting essential oils to use in your hives, make sure that it, that it is 100% pure essential oil. Um, some of the oils that you'll get maybe at the grocery stores, or places like that, are fragrance oils, and those are not the ones you want to use. They're, they've got a lot of fillers in them, and they're not 100% pure. So make sure that you're using them uh, the right kind of oil and that you're getting it from a good source that you trust. So first off, I wanted to go over lemongrass oil. Now this is one that I use more than any other oils in my hives and it can be used in a lot of different circumstances. Um, this actually mimics the pheromone that the queen gives off and so it attracts bees. It's definitely an attractant. Um, I can put this in my sugar feed. I also can put this in my sugar board and it just it just attracts the bees, draws bees to it. I also will use this. This is what I use in my bait hives. Um, it really, or if I go to catch a swarm, I'll just sprinkle some of the lemongrass oil on the top of the hive and it, and it attracts them and it, they'll walk right in the hive. Really, really good use. And um, because of the acidity in it, it can also be used for mite control. Um, it's an antifungal, antibacterial, and kind of an all around great oil to, to use in beekeeping. One thing about lemongrass oil that you need to consider is that you don't want to use it inside a hive, particularly in a hive feeder of a weak hive. And the reason behind that is because it's such a strong attractant that it will actually attract robber bees. And so if it's in a weak hive and you put it in there, um, you're going to have issues with robbing. Now spearmint is another oil that is used a lot in beekeeping. And this is usually used in conjunction with lemongrass oil um, and the, just in feeding and stuff. Um, it is a great oil. It actually helps with mite control as well. And it helps actually um, fight off the germs that the mites will transfer to the bees. And so that's why it is a huge help to feed. Um, and kind of how it works is that when it's put in the feed, along with lemongrass oil, it is transferred throughout the hive. And um, with the scent, it, it can be used as an attractant as well. But um, the scent of it is encourages the bees to feed more and, and to go after the syrup. And so with that, they transfer, they transfer it throughout their hive. And then those properties are sent throughout the hive and actually can help with um, ridding the hive of mites inside the cells. Now the next oils I would like to talk about are tea tree oil and wintergreen oil. And the reason why I'm talking about these together is because they're considered to be interchangeable. They kind of do the same thing. And these, the main use for these is that they're, um, they're used as a mite deterrent. Um, the, you can use them in a, a spray to spray over your hive mixed with water. And we'll talk about that a little bit later on. They also will discourage mold and fungus growing in your hives. So with that, even wintergreen is said to deter um, beetles, hive beetles. 
So if you're having issues with those, sometimes this might be um, a good prevention for that as well. Interestingly enough, these actually are said to help with AFB or American Foul Brood disease. Winter green is considered to be a deterrent for a lot of predatory um, bugs that come into your hives. Next, I've got peppermint oil. And interestingly enough, peppermint oil is considered to be a deterrent for bees, like to keep bees away. So some people, beekeepers will use peppermint oil to kind of mask their scent. So if you put a few drops of this, maybe in the armpits of your bee suit, it kind of will mask your scent from the bees, especially if you have an aggressive hive that are, that are constantly um, coming after you, this will help. Also, if you put this in, in a watery mist, you can put it like near your front door of your house. If you have issues with a lot of your bees coming into your house and you'd rather keep them outside, um, peppermint oil is used for that. This is primarily used to mask um, pheromone scents, to mask s smells. So um, that's why it's, it's not recommended to be used in the hive because it will mask the scent of the queen. Um, however, um, any strong smelling oil will actually do the same thing. So, that, but that is primarily why peppermint oil is used. Now, lavender oil is another one. It's not as commonly used. However, this is something that you could use in your, in your smoker, which is interesting. Um, I actually read an article about a guy that you would use dried lavender in his smoker and it would just calm his bees down. Um, lavender oil in, in people is considered to make you calmer. So, um, with the scent of it, if you could drip it in your smoker but when you're going out there to smoke, it kind of just makes them a little bit lazy, just the smell of it just kind of calms them down a little bit more. Um, but that's a, a use for lavender oil in your hive. Lavender oil is also said to be used to stave off American foul brood disease as well. Um, it also um, helps pr discourage growth of bacteria and spores in your hive. Now mineral oil, not even though it's not an essential oil, it's something I wanted to bring up because it, it is an oil that you can use in beekeeping. And this is also used for mite treatment and this can um, be used to fog mites, fog your hive with. And we can talk more in depth about that in another movie. But I did want to bring that up because it, mineral oil, um, this is a food grade mineral oil you can get in your pharmacy section and it can be used with beehives as well. Another oil that is used in beekeeping a lot is thyme oil. And that's one that I don't actually use, but it, it, it's often used for um, control of mites. And what it does is it will actually clog the pores of the mites and cause them to fall off the bees and into your screen board where, where they won't be able to climb back on. Um, the problem with it is that thyme oil in large quantities can be dangerous for your bees. And so I get wary about using it in my own hives because um, oils a lot of time are hard to judge the distribution of it and so that's why I don't tend to use thyme oil but there are many beekeepers who do. Thyme oil is even used in some of the commercial uh, mite treatments out there so it is okay to use in your hives it, you just have to be really careful. Now that we've talked about essential oils that's great but how do we apply them into our hives? So I wanted to go over that and I don't want this movie to go too long so I'll go over it in more detail in some other movies but um, for right now, I just wanted to do a quick overview of kind of how you would apply them. Now there's a few, few that kind of go together, like lemongrass and spearmint will go together and they're used in candy boards and they're used in sugar syrup. That's primarily the use, how you would dis distribute them. Now tea tree oil and wintergreen oil, their, their qualities come from coming in contact with the mites. And so they're done a little bit different. They don't typically, they are not typically added to your sugar syrup or to your candy board. Um, these would be put on, you can put a small piece of paper in the hive in between your frames and, and douse it with this and that can help. Um, the problem with that, the bees don't typically like that and they'll try to remove the paper um, bits at a time so you're going to want to check on it. Also with these, um, you can use them in grease patties, but grease patties um, can only be used when you don't have honey supers on. These oils can also be vaporized into your hive. However, it does cause the bees stress. And so that's not something that I've actually tried before, but I've read on it happening, but it does tend to cause them a lot of stress. So I don't know that I would recommend doing that. 
Now tree, tree, tea tree oil and wintergreen oil can also be added to a sugar syrup and used as a mist spray to spray over the top of your hive. And what this does is it coats the bees and it encourages them to clean themselves. It also can be used when you are combining hives um, because it, it encourages them to work together. The problem with that is that if they don't clean up all of the sugar syrup that's in the hive, it can cause um, mold and bacteria to grow on the sugar syrup that you're spraying all over the place. So if you do that, I would recommend you not use very much of the spray in the hive, but that's another way that it can, it can be applied. So that was really was just a quick overview of the essential oils that can be used in a beehive. Um, although I didn't go into a lot of detail with them, in some of my other movies I'll, be, I'll go through them and go over the exact uses of them and how to use them in, in the hive and go into more detail of it so that you'll be able to understand it a lot, a lot better um, if you're unable to figure it out on your own. Um, however, this does give you an idea of some of the oils that are used in beehives. There are some other oils that some people do use in beehives, however, I was unable to verify them with other sources and so because of that I chose not to represent them in this in this video. Um, however, if you do have some uses, uh, some other oils that you use in your hive and different ways to apply them, I would love to hear about it. So if you do, please comment below and um, there, no, you know, knowledge is power. So if you have ideas, um, that would be great to hear. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I am the Backyard Bee Builder. I hope to see you next time. Bye.